Okay everyone, Tim again, Tim's Computer Repair. I'm going to do a quick little video here. I got a H60 Corsair Hydro Series single rad uh, water, water cool system here that this customer wants me to install in their case. We're going to, I'm going to show you how we're going to install this on an on a AMD processor here. Let's get this open. And there you have it, the single radiator, I hear water in it, how about that? The pump and heat sink comes with thermal paste already pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about that, that's good. All of your hardware instructions, nothing special about this radiator here, or about this water cool here system, just a single Look at this, three pin, three pin, huh? Three pin for the pump, that's what that is. Four pin, this would go into your CPU header. Such a small unit. Hey guys, let me know down in the comments if you're a fan of water cool systems or not, especially these single red ones. If you like them, tell me why. If you don't, tell me why. Have you had success with these single red units? I've had so many come in failing or have already failed. Anyways, let's get this installed. Okay, out of the kit for AMD processors to mount this water cool system. Out of, out of all the hardware that you need from this, you will need this particular bracket here. You will need four of these long screws. You will need two of these thumb screws. You will need two of these hooks. And you need four of these washers. Everything else in the kit for the water cool is for Intel. We're doing AMD. Of course you need a fan in the cooler itself. So let's get the Get the case up here and get this going. Okay, for all intents and purposes, be sure that you know if it's not already installed, which it should be on your AMD motherboard, you will need the generic existing backplate and hardware that goes on the motherboard. And if for whatever reason yours is not on there or you took it off, I'm gonna show you how I I'll show you how I put these on. I will actually place that back plate on there and I will use a bit of tape to hold it in place. Masking tape. Do something like that there. The masking tape leaves behind no residue. It holds it in place and then we can lay it down without the back plate falling out. And then we can install the two plastic bracket clips. Now again, most likely this is this will already be installed when you get your motherboard. I had to remove this to test the processor. Okay, as you can see I did that without the back plate falling out. So now you just remove the tape. No residue, you're good to go. Okay, you always want to maybe test fit this into your case before you start mounting everything. But in my case, I'm going to mount this with the tubing on the bottom of the rad. This is so any air pockets will be up top. No air will enter down in the bottom. Just a precautionary measure. That is the way I prefer to do it. That is my belief. And then this, of course, will mount on the CPU upside right. You want the Corsair emblem facing the correct way. So that's how I'm going to mount it in there, just like that. Okay, at first I'm going to be, just go ahead and get the 
radiator mounted in there first. I'm just going to let this dangle down inside the case. And of course I'm going to keep this plastic cover on here because I don't want to get any of this. I want to protect this thermal material from getting all over everything. So the first thing we're going to need, okay, what I'm going to do to make life a little bit easier for me is I'm going to just place these washers on these screws first instead of fighting with them while I'm trying to hold the radiator up. All right, and this radiator has threaded screw holes that these screw into. Once I have this in the back, but we need to first sandwich our fan in between the radiator and the case. Now you want to make sure that the fan is facing in the proper direction and that the cable itself is facing a direction that is most efficient for your cable management. In this case, I've got two fans in the front that are intaking. So I want this one to be an exhaust. So I'm going to flip it around. This is the exhaust side. And then we have the, the power cable to the fan, the CPU <coughs> fan cable here. that I'm probably going to want to put this way. So that way this cable is all the way hidden on the, against the motherboard. The most efficient way to run that cable. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put one of the screws through the back of the case. I'm going to go ahead and place my fan right in here the way I want it to go. Don't forget that I do have the washer here already on this screw. So I'm going to go ahead and feed that right through the fan, one of the fan um, mounting holes there. Okay, and then I'm going to gently lay it down into the case where I want it. Line up the mounting hole of the radiator there. Once you get this first one started, the other one should be easier. So you see I'm already threading it in there. I'm not going to tighten it down. But right there is exactly, now I can let it go and you see it's, it's already kind of holding there itself. So that's what we wanted to see there. Go ahead and do this to the other three. Finger tight, you don't have to go super tight. I'll leave it loose so we can get the other ones on. And I'll do the ones at the bottom now. Those should line up a lot easier. Since I got two of them already started. Yep, looks like that fourth one like this. You can kind of jiggle it around a little bit just to help it out and tighten that in there. Then you just take your screwdriver. Once you got all four mounting screws in there and you just go ahead and tighten them up snug. Now you got your fan and your radiator mounted, good to go now. You can see here how, how this uh, process, uh, this, how the heat sink and pump will be mounted like this. And uh, still got room for your video card here. And these tubes and all are kind of out of the way nicely. So that's good to go there. I'm going to clean up this processor a little bit more because I did test it first. And, um, Go ahead and we'll, I'll show you uh, how we're going to mount this heat sink. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take our bracket. Take one of our nuts here and then we're going to put our little hook clip there and go ahead and just get the The retention clip started like this. Do that to both sides. You want to be sure that these are facing down. You just go ahead and take off the plastic cover of our heat sink here. Take that off. And position the heat sink in the correct orientation. 
you can go ahead and put on your retention bracket like that and we got that on there you can go ahead and kind of set it down into place you want to hook these hooks here that you just installed and hook them around the divots here that are on the plastic bracket so get one side started Put that side on there then you can set it down and hold it down for a moment until you can get so you can get these tightened up you want to give a little bit of tension on both sides of them here once you get a little bit of tension on them you can start to loosen your loosen your grip on the heat sink there a little bit now they're now they're finger tight I will give it to Corsair they do give you some of the easiest um, sinks to install compared to other brands so I'm finger tight right now pretty finger tight it's pretty solid on there I want to go ahead and give a quarter of a turn there and then here and that should be it you don't want to over tighten that I mean it is on there good it's not going anywhere okay so that heat sink is now installed. All we got to do now is hook up our fan headers here. So our CPU fan here was for the fan that's sandwiched between the radiator. We'll put that in CPU fan header one. And then this, we can just hook this to any system fan header. Okay, I'm gonna do a little wire management and we're done. But that is it. That is how, that is how you install the single rad Corsair H60 Hydro Series CPU cooler. Quick video. I hope this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching.